everybody, I'm Emily from Mindful Trading and this is Jet. and in this video we're going to show you how to build a watch list. Having a watch list is crucial for your trading performance. It can really help you to know what you're targeting to trade, it can help you to keep on top of different pairs so you know what might be worth taking for a potential trade or what's not quite ready yet. It helps you to become a more organised and more efficient trader so that you are prepared when the market moves. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how I create my watch list using TradingView. It'll be really useful if you've never used a watch list before, if you're new to the concept, or if you're looking for a new way to become more organized and more prepared as a trader. So stick around. Hey everybody, I'm Emily from the channel Mindfully Trading, where I share videos about day trading as well as my personal journey trading Forex. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a Forex watch list using TradingView. Now TradingView are primarily a charting software platform, but they also have lots of extra brilliant features. They have a screener so that you can scan for stocks or Forex pairs or whatever it is you're looking for. And they also have different features such as a chat, some information, and they have a watch list feature. And that's what we're going to use today. I really do love trading view there's a link below if you want to check them out they do free and they do paid versions and they're one of the really good quality platforms but they are more affordable as well so i think they're a brilliant choice for beginner traders but without much further ado let's jump onto the screens and let's dive into creating a forex watch list as you can see i have my main trading view charting platform up right here um, because i use it every day pretty much i do have it bookmarked and obviously favorited for my needs if you've not used TradingView before, you can just simply do a Google search uh, for TradingView and this will just load up their main platform right here. I'm obviously logged in and I have my pro subscription, but you can create a free account. So obviously you'll probably just see create an account here. Um, but once you are logged in, once you've created your free account or if you've decided to go with a pay package, you just go into your charting area of TradingView. And to keep it simple for this tutorial, I'm just going to stick to one screen here. Now, there's so many different features and elements to TradingView, and I do have a separate video where I share a tutorial. So if you've not watched that, I do advise you to check that out. Uh, but we're going to stick to the watch list feature today. So if you click on this top right corner on the lines to load up your menu here, and you can see I've got my saved watch list that automatically comes up right here for Forex. Now, because I want to share with you how to create a new watch list, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. So right at the top, this is the name of this watch list, and there's an arrow there. Um, if you've got a complete new platform, you may not have this because you wouldn't have anything saved. Um, but I'm going to create a new list here so that I can see kind of what you see. So let's just call this demo for the purposes of this YouTube video and save that. Now, this is most likely what you'll see if you've never used the watch list feature on TradingView, and that is that you don't have any symbols there. And it's really easy to create a watch list. So as this is a Forex watch list video, I'm going to stick to Forex and I'm going to show you how I target the major currency pairs. But obviously you can adapt this to your needs. So if you trade stocks, if you trade um, futures or cryptos, whatever it is you trade, you can still follow along with this tutorial, but just obviously search for the actual ticker or the actual symbol of what it is that you trade. So personalize it to suit yourself. Uh, well, stick with me and I'm going to go through the Forex watch list right now. So I'm going to add on the major currency pairs. I do talk about them in my other video as well that will be popping up around here somewhere. So first of all, what I want to do is just make it easy for myself and I'm going to add a title. Now, the way that watch lists are designed is that you type in any text in this search bar here, any symbol, and it does load them up here. Um, you've got the tickers on the left, the description in the middle, and on the right hand side, it tends to show you kind of like which broker or which market it is. So for example, if I do a search for Apple, you know, it's going to bring up the stock market NASDAQ there. But if I do a search for the Great British Pound USD, um, this will bring Forex and Awanda, which is the broker that I use. But there will be other brokers here as well. So just a brief insight into the way that works. Now, if you want to add little titles or text to your watch list, you can do that. Um, so, for example, if I want to call this Forex, I'm going to type Forex in. Obviously, there's no symbol that matches that. 
But if you just go ahead and click enter, it will still add that text in, but it'll be red because it doesn't recognize it as a symbol. But it doesn't matter too much for you for the purposes of creating a title. It just helps to add a little bit of structure to your watch list. So I'm gonna call that Forex. And first of all, I want to add the major currency pairs. Now, as we all know, there are eight major currencies and within those, there are many different pairs available. And that's what I'm going to target for this watch list. So first of all, I'm going to target the major currency pairs. So let's give them a title. Major pairs. Again, you can kind of make this a little bit bigger if you want to see all of your text right there. And let's go ahead and let's enter in the major currency pairs we have for Forex. I don't think that the pound to the yen is considered one of the major pairs but I quite like trading it so I like to have that higher up on my watch list and that's where I've put that at the bottom just there. Now you'll see these little green flags they might not appear on yours and that's because this has already been saved in one of my other watch lists and if you click on that flag um, I can turn it off I, if you don't have one you can click it on there's a color code it kind of just helps you to highlight anything that you are more interested in in particular that is a very basic watch list so they these just provide a very kind of accessible platform to be able to see them quickly but I'm going to go ahead and continue adding the rest of the major currency pairs for forex so that they are all there all to hand you to access whenever you want them And there we have it, our basic framework for our watch list is made. So as you can see, we have a very basic setup now for our watch list. We've got our title, Forex. We've got our major pair section first so that we can easily access those. And then the cross pairs, which are the remaining kind of crossover pairs from the major currency pairs, the eight major currency pairs. And we have those all listed here. And that just provides a very easy access for our Forex watch list. It's very easy to customize this, so we can add another title here at the bottom if you want to add some extra symbols to watch. Um, so let's just add extras as a little divider title there. And that just comes at the bottom. And then if you want to add something, like uh, maybe you want to keep an eye on the gold to the dollar, we can add that at the bottom. Um, if you do prefer to do a bit of stock trading as well, you can maybe add some um, reference to the SBY here at the bottom as well. Anything really that you like to keep an eye on, so the Dow Jones, it's so easy to just add and also to take away. So you change your mind. And if you hover over any of these, there's a little X at the end. And we can just remove those if you didn't mean to put them in. It's so easy to customize. Uh, but once you have your watch list ready, you're then ready to then watch your list <laughs> and keep an eye on those. I've already carried out quite a bit of analysis on these already. I do favor the major pairs over the cross pairs just for my own strategy at the moment. Uh, but let's just dive in and have a little look at one of these. So let's have a look at the Australian dollar to the Canadian dollar and I'm going to jump into a weekly time frame to start with just to get a really nice idea of the long term trend here um, and zoom out. I'm just going to delete my previous pivot points I had there just so we don't have that clutter and we can see that that is the overall time frame of this pair since it's been here on the internet for us to access. Um, so let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we can see we've had this really nice downtrend and then at this bottom here we've kind of peaked up and it indicates that we're seeing a little bit of a trend reversal. And the great thing with your watch list is that you can go through the pairs that you're most drawn to, you can carry out some different technical analysis to keep an eye on those pairs to see how they respond. 
Uh, so let's just draw a few trend lines here. All I'm doing here is just getting a little idea of what is going on in the markets. So we've had the strong uptrend. When I've got like a, a basic kind of um, major trend lines plotted here, I can jump down to a smaller time frame. Let's have a look at the daily. Um, and again, we've been in this kind of channel here, but we've jumped up. Um, mark on some points. Um, this is just a very rough guide, really, into what you can do to a watch list you can customize it you can plot some supports some resistance zones I, I find that it's very good to do this perhaps at a weekend when the market's closed because it takes away any kind of distraction allows you to just really focus on building your watch list and then also it's kind of like the end of a week and before the start of the next week it's quite a good time to, to actually go through your analysis and and to basically see you know it is anything about to make maybe make some breakout moves that are worth trading for the week um you might do some of this analysis and see that some pairs need some pullback and maybe they're not quite contestants for the next week's trade and it just helps to get a real idea so again this is quite up to you whether you prefer to go through all of these major pairs in this way and highlight some that are potentials and um, some that are pulling back instantly this looks like a nice trend line here perhaps if it breaks this lower point um it's just good to mark these to keep an eye on for the week coming ahead for potential trades and once you do this uh, once you go through if any really do stick out as your favorites you can obviously add your flag here you can even color code it so you could have like a green flag to say yes you're very interested you know come one day you want to keep an eye on this you want to watch these certain points here as you've plotted your trend lines your support your resistance uh, trading view have this brilliant tool here where you can actually add some text so if you're saying hey you know i'm interested at a certain point you can add in your numbers um you can say you know i i want a retest of the trend line you can really customize it so that once you've gone to sleep and woke up the next day you've got your notes there just to remind you what you're looking at what you're waiting for so that you can really help to follow your trading plan and then maybe some are need a little bit of pullback or maybe a few days of consolidation but they do have an interest in potentiality about them and that's maybe where you can use an orange flag or if a pair is very early on in their consolidation and they're not ready yet you can maybe give them a red flag and it just helps you to see at a glance you know what it is that you're most interested in for potential trades what's not quite ready so that as you go into the market you are prepared you have your watch list here you know you've got your notes you've got your your drawing your technical analysis and anything that helps you to become more prepared as a trader because trading is difficult enough as it is, isn't it, guys? So if we can make it easy for ourselves by being organized and by being efficient, you know, we're already on the way there. You could even customize this a little bit further and you can maybe create a little title for yourself, main watch list. And if you ever want to move these about, you simply just click and drag and you see this line here that comes up. Um, you can drop that anywhere you like. So maybe I want to drop it in between the two there. There we go, main watch list. And then if there are any that you're interested in but you don't want to use this flag method because it looks a bit confusing you know you can quite easily just drag and drop those so if we want to move that into the main watch list say we want to also keep an eye on that and maybe this one and obviously i'm just dragging and dropping these to show you how easy it is to manipulate your watch list but by all means you know you want to carry out your analysis and have some sort of plan to to make them worthy of being on your main watch list but once you are aware of the, the the symbols that are worth potentially watching for trades um, you can move them into your main watch list to make it easy so that as a new week comes you know you're just focusing on these pairs right here and it can just help to hone your trades um, always I'd recommend to keep an eye on any kind of news headlines as well and be aware of what's going on in the market but I hope this video has been 
um, a good insight to you anyway on how you can create a watch list to improve your trade performance and your organization. So there's a very brief introduction for you on how to create your Forex watch list with TradingView. If you like what you see with TradingView, I have included a link below. As I said, there are free versions and there are paid subscriptions as well. I do find them to be a very affordable platform, but they don't compromise on features. They have a very great high quality platform and they're really good for beginners. So I do advise checking out TradingView. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up i really do appreciate it these videos take a bit of time to create and it does help my channel to grow so please do like if you've enjoyed the video and also don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch some more videos thank you very much guys i will catch you in the next video and comment if you have your own trading mascot too bye